I'm Chris and this is Earth Juice. Coming up this week, sharks with lightsabers, jet propelled squid and superior science. Now, over the past few days, an American alligator has been lighting up the internet with his permanently erect penis, even though sadly, he's already dead. While dissecting the deceased alligator, researcher Brandon Moore touched the reptile's pelvic nerve with his scalpel, and he got quite a surprise. Unlike most other penises which inflate when aroused, the alligator's penis is actually made of stiffer stuff. An all-round animal penis expert Diane Kelly explained that the alligator's penis doesn't inflate at all. In fact, it's packed full of stiff layers of a protein called collagen, meaning that it's actually erect all of the time. The alligator is only able to preserve his modesty by tucking his penis inside his body, popping it out when the need arises. In other penis-related news, researchers reported this week that otters are facing a far more flaccid future. Experts studying the reproductive health of the mammals were alarmed when they found a decrease in the weight of the penis bone of the otters. The report suggests that contaminants in waterways could be causing these abnormalities, and project manager Dr Elizabeth Chadwick added that health problems found in otters could be a warning to all mammals, which includes us humans. A small species of lantern shark has been revealed to warn off predators with what scientists are calling lightsaber-like spines. In his study, Dr Julian Klass, a shark biologist from the Catholic University of Louvain in Belgium, explained that the shark produces a kind of light from its belly, concealing it against the daylight from the surface. This means that any prey lurking beneath won't see it coming. But while the glowing belly might disguise the shark, the lightsaber-like spines on its back send out a message to potential predators, saying, don't bite me, I've got spines. Class added that it's highly unusual to find an animal both advertising and camouflaging itself at the same time, and it's surprising that these two opposite behaviours can occur in a single organism. Now, fishermen have been telling stories about flying squid for years, but we all thought that maybe they'd had a little bit too much rum. But recently, a team of marine biologists from Hokkaido University in Japan revealed that the sea dogs were maybe right after all. Neon flying squid are so named for their ability to leap out of the water, but previously it was thought that they jumped rather than flew. However, this new discovery has shown that the squid actually achieve controlled flight. The team witnessed the squid ejecting high-pressured water from holes near their heads, launching themselves out of the sea. They then form their fins into wings, enabling them to fly through the air, much like flying fish. The study discovered that the squid can fly at around 11 meters per second, and with each flight lasting around three seconds, they can fly over 30 meters in one go. So that's this week's juice. Next week, we will try and have a penis-free one. But to see how much you learned from this week's news, check out the link in the descriptions below. And to see some other stuff on Earth Unplugged, click over here. We'll see you next time. First stage of any attack, seek out your prey.